There are several different types of DNS records, but the most common and important ones are referred to as A, CNAME, and MX. We've just uploaded videos all about CNAME and MX records that you should check out. In today's video though, we're going to focus on A records. A records are the most basic type. The A stands for address as their function is to tie a domain name or URL directly to an IP address. Here's an example. The host record column indicates which domain or subdomain the record references, and the at symbolizes the root domain or the primary domain of your site. The points to column is the IP address that the domain in the first column points to. Basically, when you type a web address into your browser, the DNS looks up the domain name and then routes your browser to the associated IP address. For the most part, you shouldn't need to do much with your A records. However, if you are changing your hosting provider or wanting to change your domain name while keeping the content intact, or maybe you need to point a new subdomain to your server, there are definitely situations where you may need to access your A records. You should be able to access your site's A records through your web hosting account dashboard. For this example, we'll be using Bluehost. First, you'll need to log into your hosting account and then click on domains in the left hand side. Now find the domain that you want to edit the records of and then head on over to the drop down box located next to the manage button and then select DNS. As we can see here, there are a lot of options on this page, but we're only worried about the A records. To make changes to current existing records, you would simply click the three dots and either edit or remove. To add a new record, you would click the add record button and simply type in your host record and where you want it to point to. Don't worry about the TTL setting. You can just leave that at its default value. Some hosting providers even have an option for automatic, which we do recommend. Once you're done adding your records or editing or whatever the case is, that's it. It's really that simple. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.